You know why people pour water on dried up fish and they suddenly start moving their mouths. You might think it's some kind of fish magic, or maybe they're not actually dead, but you are completely wrong. Someone asked why plikos can seemingly resurrect from mummified corpses with just a splash of water. These invasive species possess incredible survival instincts. When water is available, they breathe through gills normally. Without water, they enter hibernation mode, while regular fish die within minutes outside water. Plecos can survive 72 hours under 100 degree heat exposure, even after becoming rock hard fish. Jerky, an hour in water, brings complete revival. But why does everyone despise these seemingly harmless bottom feeders? The hatred runs deeper than you'd imagine. Plecos devour other fish eggs voraciously, consuming 11 pounds daily on average. Meanwhile, they reproduce like biological warfare machines. Six to eight spawning cycles annually, 2,000 eggs per batch with 80% survival rates. Here's where it gets terrifying. Juveniles read reproducing a juveniles read months, creating exponential population explosions. These survivors thrive anywhere. Sewers, polluted ditches, contaminated waterways. A single adult pleco can reduce river fish populations by 90% within 12 months. Fish farmers face bankruptcy from these aquatic locusts. Even eliminating 99% proves futile. The remaining 1% rebuilds entire colonies within six months. You'd think Americans would simply eat them into extinction, right, wrong again. Plico meat tastes awful, tough texture, overwhelming muddy flavor, bitter aftertaste. They're mostly bones anyway, yielding only 15% edible meat. The best solution, dig holes and bury them. Sometimes the simplest approaches work best against nature's most persistent invaders.